Coach, uh, what, what where have you kind of picked apart the game? What were your takeaways? Uh, you know, uh, obviously they're, they're a really good football team. We got started slow. They, you know, um, they uh, they caught us with the pass. You know, the quarterback did a great job of throwing the football. Uh, first of their zone defense. And, uh, they didn't really have a lot of long run plays. A lot, most of the run plays were a lot of, a lot of missed tackles, but that guy was a great running back. I'm telling you, he made, he missed more tackles in that game. We had people there to tackle, and you know, we didn't tackle. We had a really good job of tackling. That's the most thing. The most, the thing I was probably most disappointed about is the tackling in that game. I, I, you know, their offensive line was good. I thought our D line held up pretty well, uh, but uh, on the perimeter, on the edges, we, like I said, we, we missed tackles. You know, that was, that was the biggest thing there. They kept drives alive in, in certain situations, and we, we got hurt with the passing game. I think as we got going, we got better and better until the end. We, we had a big defense and they missed tackles. We couldn't do it. But, uh, we're just fighting. not playing good enough right now. You know, we're, getting, we're, we're close, but you know, at some point in time, we better start playing. What was the question? We surprised with their quarterbacks that neither one of them really seemed to get rattled. And I know you talked about the starter and how good he was and poised and all that. Yeah. But I was really surprised when the two freshmen came in. Yeah, he's a really, like, really good player, too. I mean, actually, you couldn't tell the difference in the game. They're both yeah. basically alike, that same size, just different numbers, you know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, both, both are good players. <clears throat> like I said, they both did a good job when they had to extend the drive of, of, of doing something to extend it. Same deal. We got to get off the field. You know? and so that's that's something that that uh, you know. You said look, a lot of the plays we played well, but then we got to have a play and stop and we don't get off the field. And that's that's where we're at right now. We got to make sure that's where we improve. Um, looking at Troy, their offense, Chip Lindsey, obviously, um, at Auburn last year. Do you go back and watch that film a little bit, or or do you even go back and watch? Where he was coaching at, because there's just not much film on him right now. How, how do you prepare as a coach well, for that? We've watched uh, his last two years here at Southern Miss. We watched when he was at uh, Arizona, Arizona, State. Arizona, yeah, State. Mm -hmm. We watched when he was at Auburn, and we watched his film. So we kind of done the gamut with him. And, you know, I don't know how that if that's going to help or not, but we've watched it all. So. You know, we're trying to find some things that he's still similar with, but just with one game and, and with, with Campbell, who they got ahead of early, you just don't know what you're going to get. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Was there kind of one recurring theme you saw with his offenses? Was it tempo? They were always good. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was one thing. You got to give credit. You know, we, I, again, I, I told you I thought the guy at uh, Mississippi State was a really, really good office coordinator. And, I, you know, obviously Chip's proven the same thing. So, Playing two quality guys that have been top of the, of the country in, you know, as far as <coughs> coordinator and offenses. So, as a defensive guy, you know, I'd like to have one of those first year guys for change, you know. I mean, it's, I mean, really, you know, seriously, you know, he's really, really good at what he does. You know, that's why he's been very successful. Same as Moorhead and Mississippi State. So, that makes it tough, you know, especially when you really haven't seen. Who they are, and they've got two. You give a guy like that two weeks to prepare with a really good football team, then that's makes you not sleep at night as a defense coordinator. Coach, y'all had some uh, guys last year that have been in your system, and you know Yancey and Pax and uh, Ruff and uh, Sangster in your system. Do you guys feel like you may be going through some growing pains? We right are now? at that position because that's you know we we got Raheem that's been there, and the rest of them haven't, and so that's kind of where I think our growing pains are. They can make the adjustments right now, and we're getting better there. Uh, but that's you know that's the, the key ingredient for us. We gotta we gotta grow. Uh, we gotta get mature there. And we got some really good players. You know, athletically, they're probably better than those guys. You know, but on paper, but uh, you know, we gotta make sure that they're as good as those guys on the field. And we have to be able to make decisions and checks and those things at the right time. And that's a little bit of our growing pains, but. 
we're getting there, and I'm excited about it. And uh, it's one week at a time, and if we just keep getting better there, I think by the time we get to conference play, we've got a chance to be good on defense. But you know, so I mean, those guys at some point in time got to they got to grow up. Uh, the struggles in the secondary. I, I, it seemed like their quarterbacks did a good job of placing the ball high. You know, they did. You know, our corners are five nine, five ten. You know. Uh, and then, like on the touchdown, we go right there. We just got to make a play. And, uh, you know, we're just six four or five guys. That's, you know, like we're just, you know, we work on that all the time. But uh, it is what it is. We got to, again, opportunities that we have to make plays, we have to make plays. And that's, that's what we're down to. You know, same thing last year from our linebackers. Last year, in early, our secondary was young, and we were. We're not super, not real good early, but we, as we, the year went, we got better, and I'm hoping the same thing happens to our defense as we go through the year. Thank you, Coach. Hi, Coach.